please digest persons and family relations. Our case for today is about Unciano Paramedical versus the Court of Appeals. It is under GR number 135, Second Division, April 7, 1993. Under Justice Nokon. The Doctrine. The ruling in the non-case should not be given a retroactive effect to cases that arose before its promulgation on May 20, 1990, as in this case, which was filed on April 16, 1990. If it were otherwise, it would result in oppression to petitioners and other schools similarly situated who relied on the ruling in the Alcoas case, promulgated on May 2, 1988, which recognized the termination of contract theory. The new doctrine should be applied prospectively and should not apply to parties who had relied on the old doctrine and acted on the fate thereof. The facts of the case. In July 1989, Villegas and Magallanes proposed to the school authorities the organization of a student council. Villegas and a certain Baroa were summoned to the office of Dr. Moral and were admonished not to proceed with the proposal as the school does not allow such organization. Villegas and Baroa were then barred from enrollment for the violation in the school rules and regulations. Subsequently, they were informed to different reasons for their non-admission. The students, through their counsel and their mothers, filed a petition for injunction with prayer for writ of preliminary mandatory injunction against the school. The regional trial court then granted the petition, ordering the school to allow the petitioners to enroll for the first semester of the following school year. The court, of, the court of Appeals affirmed the regional trial court's ruling, basing its rationale on the case of Ariel Nunn versus Honorable Damis, which abandoned the termination of contract theory found in the case of Alcuas versus PSPA. The case to which the school anchored its case in the non-case emphasized that the contract between the school and the student is not an ordinary contract as it is imbued with public interest considering the high priority given by the Constitution to education and that paragraph 137 of Manuel Regulation for Private School pursuant to BP 232 recognizes the right of a student to choose their field of study and to continue the course up to the graduation. So the issue here is whether or not the non-doctrine should be applied retroactively to govern and invalidate the legal effects of incidents that took place prior to its adoption, which are valid under the Alcoas Doctrine, which was prevailing at the time said incident took place. The ruling is, in the non-case, should not be given a retroactive effect to case it, cases that arose before its promulgation on May 20, 1990, as in this case, which was filed on April 6, 1990. If it were otherwise, it would result in oppression to petitioners and other schools similarly situated who relied on the ruling in the Alcoas case that is promulgated on the 2nd of May 1988, which recognizes the termination of contract theory. In the case of People versus Habinal, it is settled rule that when a doctrine of this court is overruled and a different view is adopted, the doctrine should be applied prospectively and should not apply to parties who had relied on the old doctrine and acted on the faith thereof.